Morning, this is Troy from the do-it-yourself world and the off-grid project sitting here in my off-grid RV. Actually, I'm sitting under the roof that many people said would not make it through the winter. Um, I have to be honest, I had my doubts as well. I wasn't sure, but I did the best that I could and the porch held up and now I'm enjoying it in spring as well. It's nice to sit out here and have my morning coffee. I enjoy the, the beauty out here of the forest, chickens in the meadow, uh, birds all over the place. It's nice. There's my chicken. He's got to always, he always has to speak up when I'm talking, I'm trying to show who's boss. Well, the point of my uh, this video actually is not to talk about my porch or the meadow or anything, but actually we've got something new for you. I am starting a preppers network on the do-it-yourself world forum and this has been long a discussion actually many months almost a year now I have talked to Matt of many things about getting together a group of preppers and like-minded people start having meetings start getting together having barbecues having training sessions survival outings right now the first step is I've opened up a Preppers Network forum on the Do It Yourself forum webpage. I'll put the link right here on the video description right underneath. Uh, anybody is welcome to join the forum. If you want to have your own Preppers forum, I have started out, for example, with Prepper Nurse One, who has been doing preparedness videos for quite a while now. He now has his own forum. So if you go under Preppers Network, and you'll see then the Prepper Nurse One forum, and under there his discussion. If you have a group of preppers, like-minded people, website, YouTube videos, or just want to have a place to share ideas, let me know. Drop me an email, info at the DIYworld.com. I'll put that down below and I will set you up with your own forum under the Preppers Network and I think it's good the community needs a place to come together to talk about survival preparedness stocking up what happens if the grid fails there's a lot of people out there that have no knowledge of what to do if society breaks down and some of us are living it like I am here every day I have this is all off the grid this whole area some people are extreme survival hardcore survival experts can go out in the middle of the forest with nothing but a t-shirt and jeans in winter and live um, this is a good place to come together and share ideas everybody I've met if they're not too proud to to talk to you everybody I know and have met and their preppers and like-minded people all say that they can learn from other people they can always learn from other people and I think that's important that if you're open-minded I have learned a ton of things from other preppers I watched a movie the other day it was really amazing it was about some people escaping from the Siberian war camps war prison in Russia during world beginning of World War two and they escaped in the middle of a blizzard and the one survivor who was leading the group took birch bark and made face masks because a blizzard of course blinds you and hurts your face and you can't see a thing made face masks out, out of birch bark with little eyeslits and I thought that was pretty cool it's something I'd never seen you might not have thought about myself that would also double as sunglasses so Sorry, my chickens took off running. I keep an eye on the roosters because they keep away predators. Yeah, so anyway, I, even I'm learning stuff today, and I'm sure everybody can learn from one another. So come on over to the Do It Yourself World Forum, Preppers Network, say hi to Prepper Nurse, and let's see you all over there. Let's start sharing and building this community and sharing ideas, and hopefully get the word out because if the economy collapsed tomorrow, what would you do?